Yo, what is up? Um, this is my first video on this new channel, Heslax. Um, the first video I thought, I mean, uh, cross season got canceled, so I thought, why not make a, um, a gear bag video just to go over some of my stuff that I do have right now. That was for this current season, but um, will not be used because of the uh, coronavirus and everything getting canceled. First, the most important, I mean, not protection is obviously the, the most important, but one of the most important things in anybody's gear bag are the sticks. That's what, I mean, you can't play a cross without your, um, without a head, mesh, and a shaft. So my first, um, main one for face-offs, this is a, um, Burn F.O. Warrior. Uh, the Trevor Baptiste one with Shrinking Mark 2F, I think. The face off, the very soft, the softest one you can get. Um, mesh on here, no shooters, mid pocket. I mean, shoots, I mean, not decently low, but I mean, it does have to work it sometimes to get it up there. On a Warrior Burn shaft with just a, um, black butt, on, butt end I threw on there um but yeah no shooters I got pink um sidewalls and top strings pink tape for the for my uh top hand right here my white tape right here for my bottom hand when I'm doing face and then down here on the butt end I have also some more pink tape um I like this tape the white tape right here very um I like it a lot because Helps with my face offs, um, but also when I'm passing and shooting, I know exactly where to put my hand right here every single time. Um, so yeah, that is really nice. I personally did not string this, I went to my local cross store and they shined it there for me. So yeah, that is this is my main um, uh, face off head. Um, always take this to games. I am the face off guy, so yeah, I do take face offs. Um, but if I'm just going on for the field play, um, I will take this stick out there. This is a SDX Stallion 250, 250? I don't know, like one of the very older ones. I bought, I got this, um, on a D-pole, um, decided to change it and make it into a short stick. I mean, very shallow pocket, I mean. Very, very shallow. Mid pocket. I like the mid pocket a lot. Um, one shooter, one nylon. On a Maverick A1 shaft. Again, on here I went top hand right here for my, my uh, for like this is just for cradle and everything. Top hand, passing and shooting, and then the bottom tape as well. And I just got the this little circle on the bottom um, that comes with the stick. Uh, comes with the shaft. Um, so those are my main two sticks. Um, I'm a, I'll show you my other ones. Um, so uh, I'm going to grab those real quick and I'll uh, get back with y'all. So I got some of my other sticks. I have like, I think four in total. This is another face off head. Um, this is the Warrior Blade Pro. Like the Blade OG. The original blade, the Blade Pro. Um, one pink shooter. You can tell I like putting pink on my face off heads. Um, just so it just, you know, the tape has to be different than your glove and your head. So I like just rocked with the pink. This got came with some gecko tape, some gecko grip. Um, on this true gecko grip driver system um, shaft. Got pink tape, uh, white tape down here. Um, nothing much about here. I mean, you got a very, very deep pocket. I mean, if you really, well, not too deep, but definitely a mid, mid pocket. This one throws pretty low. I will say that. I never really dined with this stick. I mean, the, I never broke it in, to be 100% honest. Um, so I never got to see its full potential. Um, I first got this one. I didn't know too much about face-offs. So I, I got this on my local car store. It was fully complete built all the way, except just the gecko tape on the top. 
um, did not come with the bottom tape. I just recently redid this, actually. Um, but I didn't know much about face-offs, and as soon as I got it, it was stiff, which is any face-off had any, like, any, um, so I didn't get enough reps in with this to get it to where it was broken in and I could, um, so it wasn't, um, broken in at all. I mean, t still to this day, I, this is like a year old, year and a half, still not broken in at all. Um, yeah, I definitely could have definitely used this to more, this potential. Um, this is one of those, like, this is a old warp I have. Um, my first ever warp I got. My original stick, um, I do not currently have right now. But this is the very sec this is the second one I got. Taped it up. Um, I mean, this one, though, the head did snap. Um... So I don't even have, I don't even have string, I mean, I don't even have um, any screws on this at all. I don't ever use this. It's kind of just there. If I have needed, like, worst, worst case scenario, I have a backup shaft. But if the worst, worst case scenario, I have this shaft that I could um, just throw on one of my sticks. Um, so, yeah, that's nothing too special about this. And I might as well show you my, um, this is another one of my shafts. This is my, just the shaft, nothing, no head on it or anything. Just a, another E, um, warp shaft. Cause I got, I originally had that one, that head broke. Um, so I got a new warp. And then now, I just have that one. I have this old shaft because I put my warp on my depot. Um, and my depot is actually right here. It is a S6 Stallion 6000. Um, with a um, warp next head on it. I'm not cut it down at all. I mean, I've attempted to put some tape on the bottom. Other than that, I mean, I don't ever use this unless we're up seven or eight on my head coach. Kind of just run in um, with a deep hole just for fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this. Um, nothing too special about it. Um, that's it pretty much. So, yeah. Um, I do have a very, very big variety of, um, uh, sticks. I mean, you got knee poles, face off, attack heads, everything. Um, so that's all my sticks. Um, now let's get right into my gear bag. All right, now into my gear bag. Um, I only got some very special stuff. Um, like the shoulder pads. These are, um, SDX Cell 2 shoulder pads. Still got the arm guard on there. Um, I've had these since I've started lacrosse. Um, they're pretty good. I mean, I haven't nothing wrong with them at all. I've played probably almost. I mean, if you conclude my select seasons, probably four or five seasons of lacrosse worth of playing these. Um, so my shoulder pads. Um, I do have this one singular glove. In the palms that has this pink uh, gecko tape that was you got uh, when I bought the um my pink um uh, blade pro this came with it like when the gecko tape it like helped like I'm telling you your hand does not move when you're getting face offs with it don't freak we're in a bug um so yeah I didn't really use it much um, just because it was just so difficult to play field with. So, don't know much about this. Just an extra glove, I guess, in case my right one falls out. Um, or it doesn't fall out. Um, but it just gives up. These are the gloves I'm currently using. These are Maverick <coughs> Lone RX3s. All black. I think it's thir size 13. Having a much to them. I mean, amazing gloves. Amazing, amazing gloves. Um, and it has this little piece. I don't know what that's called. I think it's might be it's very similar to the Gecko Grip. Um, but that helps with grip a lot. It has a lot of airflow. I mean, you have these three huge. One, two, and then three. You have those three air ways for fl um fl ways of airflow. Um, so um that's it. Um Oh, these are 12s. 
Never mind. Um. Um. For my helmets, I have a navy blue cascade. Is it? What is this? Is this cascade art? Um. Yeah, this is embarrassing. I don't know what I have. Is this? Is this CRS? I don't know. I have I have a cascade helmet, navy blue, navy blue chin strap. Um, because I'm pretty sure this is a shock doctor. It's a small little mouth guard to clip onto the side of my helmet. Um, nothing special about this. Um, yeah, I've had this. I mean, this is about my either was it was gonna be my second or third season with it. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a great helmet. Cascade is honestly one of the best. Uh, if not the best brand out there for helmets, uh, elbow pads. If I can find my elbow pad, I'll have these Under Armour. What, I don't know exactly. I just I do not know. But I mean, I've had them for a while now. Definitely, definitely bad. I like definitely very, very, very good. Um, I like the cup. I like elbow pads that have the cup on there. Um, I do not like the. And also on the inside, it has this little fabric, um, which is really nice because I hate it when the my old elbow pads had little gaps right on the crease on my elbow. And every time I bend, my skin will get pinched sometimes. So um, I got these, and they've worked out ever, ever since. Um, they're really good elbow pads. I wouldn't say nothing bad about them. Um, And then... Since I do do face off, I have a knee pad. Um, oh, what's it called? I forget the name. Oh yeah, McDavid knee pads. Um, I love these things. They are a lifesaver if you're playing on turf, especially. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I do put one on my right leg only, my right knee. But yeah, I mean, a lifesaver if you are a face off guy and you do not have knee pads. I promise you, it will be a life changer. You have to get face off. Uh, you have to get knee pads for face off. Um, other than that, I mean, roll extra tape. Um, a couple jerseys, a cup. Actually, I have two cups in here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I do have a couple side pockets, and in my side pockets, I have rolls upon rolls of tape. Thing of white tape, another thing of white tape, two blacks, and a pink. Um, always gotta have a handy dandy screwdriver. You never know what it's gonna be used for, but you definitely need a screwdriver. Sometimes heads loose, helmet, whatever the case may be. Um, definitely good suggestion to put in your gear bag. And then I had this little tool that came with the uh, Maverick A1 shaft. Um, it's still a little t uh, tool, so you could has this little screwdriver on it. And this little piece to adjust where the um, cylinder butt end is. Um, that's pretty much it for my gear bag. Um, nothing else, not really much. Nothing really else much. Nothing much else to talk about. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I will um, definitely be trying to put out some uploads. I mean, it's very difficult. Um, at this time right now. Um, so, I mean, it's gonna try my best, you know. But, um, that's it for today. I mean, nothing much. I mean, if you wanna, in the comment section, just tell me, um, what else, what do you want? I mean, I could do a tutorial how to tape, I guess. I don't know, I personally know how to string a stick or a head, but I really want to. And I'm sure I can get out tutorials in the next year or so so um that's it for me hope you guys are having a fantastic day um stay safe wash your hands and um i'll see you guys next time bye um i completely forgot to film an intro uh an outro um so this is it i mean i hope you guys are staying safe staying safe and uh, washing your hands and everything like that um this will be first of hopefully many videos to come um See you guys next time. Bye.